Hey what is up everyone, I'm Starlord and welcome back to another Fallout 4 video. Today we are going to be discussing PlayStation 4 mods, you know a realistic release date, what the hell is going on over there at Bethesda and Sony, and just my thoughts in general about the, you know, the whole situation of PlayStation 4 mods being delayed. Now guys, before we get into this, this is all kind of just me, my thoughts, it is nothing official. So yeah, if you guys are not here for anything official, then, you know, I'm sorry about that. But yeah, without further ado, let's get into this video. Okay, so firstly, I'm pretty sure that everyone knows by now that PS4 mods was actually scheduled for the start of this month. Now, it's currently been about, I'd say about three weeks now, and nothing. Nothing at all. And that's because Bethesda had to actually delay the PlayStation 4 mods beta. They said, they actually sent out a tweet saying, we regret to inform you that, you know, the PlayStation 4 mods will be delayed until further notice. And, you know, three weeks later, there isn't even a pip, a pip, a squeak, I don't know. There isn't anything about what's going on over there at Bethesda or Sony. So it's left all of us who are on PlayStation, for the most part, in complete darkness, which is just not right for a developer to do. Heck, look at Pokemon Go. Their developers are leaving everyone in the dark about the free footstep glitch, and people are just going batshit crazy about that. But let's not compare that game to this game, because, you know, Fallout's a much better game. So, following on from that bit of information, I guess a lot of you guys on PlayStation 4 are probably asking, well, Starlord, we want to know, what is your opinion, when do you think PlayStation 4 mods will eventually drop? Okay, so, it is a very complex situation, and there is a lot of things that we don't know. Obviously, there's a lot going on behind the scenes. They've got Nuka Whale coming out. They've also got the new Workshop DLC coming out. They're also working on a heck load of games. And I guess that office is just crammed full of shit going on right now. So we don't exactly know anything. But from my experience of past game developers and, you know, just experiences in general... The way they haven't even spoken about any kind of success at all with the PlayStation 4 mods, you know, ongoing, I would say they haven't even overcame or overcome the smallest of problems. So I'm still thinking that they're pretty much on square one. Now, with that being said, I am going to estimate the PlayStation 4 mod beta to drop around about September. Now, I know that is a long way off. That is like nearly two months away and yeah, it's it's kind of a ridiculous assumption to, you know, assume that they will release then. But I kind of do have a little bit of logic behind this. Of course, I have already said we don't know how far into progress they are with all of this. We still know that there are a couple of problems. And one thing that we do know from any kind of development is that when you fix a glitch or a problem, another is probably going to pop up. So, you know, they are going to be dealing with a lot of bugs with PlayStation 4 mods, unfortunately. Okay, so another thing that I want to mention is something that people probably won't like me saying, but if you disagree with me, then feel free to disagree. You know, I, I respect everybody's opinion as this is my own. So, yeah, just kind of hear me out. So, Back in 2015, when Bethesda, you know, announced Fallout 4, they also said that mods would be making their way to the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4. Now, looking over these last couple of months, you can see they've had a lot of problems, and, you know, the PlayStation 4 mods not even happening is a huge problem. Like, you know, they, they only just announced that there were sound file problems. They only just announced that PC textures are the only textures that can actually go onto the PlayStation 4, which is a huge problem because PC textures are really high quality compared to consoles. Now, if we look at that information, we can kind of assume that back in 2015, Bethesda didn't even know for a fact if PlayStation 4 mods would work at all. Now, I have said it previously, but Bethesda, when they announced all of this shit back in 2015, they really did jump the gun. They kind of went ahead of themselves. They were really confident, you know, they were feeling good. And it looks like, you know, they just promised a little bit too much. And like I said, I know a lot of you guys will not like me saying this, but when I said the PlayStation 4 mods beta will probably release in September, well, that was me being very optimistic. Now, I'm not saying PlayStation 4 mods 
will never come, you know, it is inevitable, you know, mods can work on that console, it's just a matter of when will mods work on that console. Bethesda do need more time, unfortunately they announced it beforehand and you know, everyone's, you know, rustling their jimmies, is that how you guys say it? I've heard an American reference saying like, you're rustling your jimmies or some shit. But basically everyone's getting their tails in a twist about it and all I can say is, you know, it's very unfortunate. I wish that you guys could experience mods, I really do, but the, the, it's just the way the cookie crumbles. We need to give them more time and yeah, it's just, like I said, it's just the way it is. And I do hope that they can actually overcome their problems in the next, you know, month or so and actually release them before or just as Nuka World is releasing because honestly I kind of feel once Nuka World releases and all of the in-game content is complete if they release mods after that nobody is really going to give a shit and that is just very unfortunate because Fallout is a great franchise and Fallout 4 is a great game so yeah guys, I think that has pretty much been it for my opinion on this whole PS4 mods thing. And I really do wish Bethesda the very best in actually getting the development moving with PlayStation 4 mods. But yeah, anyway guys, I do hope that you enjoyed this video. Again, this is all just my kind of opinion. I do hope that you will respect that as I will respect everybody else's. And uh, yeah, until next time, I've been Starlord. Uh, see ya!